are a vibrational being having a human experience. Literally, every thought, emotion and sensation pile up together to formulate your vibration. You have a physical lineage. The physiological being with a green card, Aadhaar card, citizenship, human rights, having a physical experience that you can touch, smell, hear and see. That's your physiological lineage. Then comes your emotional lineage, your emotions, series of sensations and emotions you have. So when you are going through narcissistic abuse, you literally get into a vortex of suffering. You can say it's your sufferer lineage. The vortex of you, the part of you that knows how much you have endured, how much you have suffered, or you can call your pain lineage. And when you are tapped into your pain lineage, you realize through the eyes of pain how your life has been. You've gone through a lot of pain. You've gone through a lot of hurdles. You've gone through a lot of gaslighting, devaluation, ups and downs. Life has been horrific. You have literally felt that sense of clogged sensation, choked sensation putting you in this excruciating zone where you've literally felt crushed. You've literally felt like there was something tapering you down from within. And that's the awareness physiologically of your pain lineage. You can also call it your physiological awareness of suffering lineage. Each lineage lands to a set of perspectives. Whichever lineage you're tapped into, through that you will see life in a particular way. When you're thinking of your physiological lineage, like you're a physical being, you're a biological being, you have come on earth and you do your work, you go to office or you show off your business, you live your life physically, your physiological and emotional lineage is another vortex in you where your personal life and your experiences, what you've been through, what's happening inside is affecting your physical actions. What's happening inside is deciding what you are talking about, what you are focusing about. Likewise, you are a vibrational being with a vibrational lineage. You also have a spiritual lineage, the lineage where you are connected to the spirit, connected to God, it's the way of spirituality, spirit's way of moving through you, spiritual ways. It's the spirit's ways of movements, the way God, the spirit, the source, the power, the higher energy that has created it all, that's moving through us all and how we are expression of it is moving through us. Then we also have our 
religiously need the knowledge inculcated from a religious belief system and understanding cultural lineage the culture you are growing up in your lineage the friendship the connections that you've had in schools college and the culture of that which you have picked up on social lineage the way your social life is how you are as a social being the kind of people you are putting yourself with they are formulating your social lineage in every way we are connected to different lineages or matrix we also have political lineage the political scenario your political belief system overall political situation of the world and your country and how much you are plugged into it so when we are talking about unplugging from the matrix we are talking about unplugging from each of these lineages and going through a phase of retrospection to see through the understanding of each of these lineages so culturally how are we being conditioned so are you being culturally conditioned so whenever people have issues like oh i can't marry this person because this person is not in my caste or i can't wear that dress because it's so not my culture or i cannot do that job because my friends will laugh at me so these are all programmings or bindings we have to these cultures lineages and matrix that are keeping us binded in various vortexes and it is because of our belief system what we are feeling loyal to what our principles are what our values are but all of that has been designed by the matrixes that we have plugged into to tap into your vibrational being to tap into a part of you that's most authentic that's just flowing that's in that ease frequency with equilibrium to your core understanding core truth it is to realize that no matter where you are in the different lineages vibrationally also you are exactly there so there is nothing to really shift out of other than what's holding you back so for example it's holding you back to not choose the person you want to marry but you're not being able to choose that person to marry you because your family will not accept so it's about really unplugging from that matrix of guilt unplugging from that matrix of what will people say or my family say unplugging from the matrix of the idea that you are hurting someone else unplugging from the matrix of you owe it to the other person to decide who you marry unplugging from the matrix of the idea that you cannot marry the one you love but you are duty bound to your family because of your culture society and plugging into the matrix of things are working in your favor and to unplug and plug in can happen in seconds 
like it happened with my client with whom I was in a one-on-one -on -one session with and the session was so heartwarming that the session literally inspired me to come here and make this video and to literally unplug from a matrix where things are no longer serving you and to plug in can take seconds so it takes a second to jump vibrationally and to jump vibrationally is just to plug into your desired matrix vibrationally because you are a vibrational being so how do you find your vibrational inner cursor how do you find your inner dot and move in the course of it once you realize it you realize that through every lineage through every experience you've had across all lineage, across all the belief system, you have continued to be a vibrational being. And it is ultimately about that inner freedom, inner ease, inner sensation, inner serendipity that you are seeking for. So maybe you are just trying to unplug from that reality where you have been in a narcissistic abusive relationship and you want to plug into the vortex of nothing ever happened, life is great and you are now coming in contact with realities that there's no trauma, there's no issues but you are plugging in from the vortex where everything is working out in your favor. You are blessed, things are working out in your favor Life is amazing. So the part of you who's feeling like terrible when you are aware that you've been through narcissistic abuse, life is in horrendous, things are not good, is your pain lineage. So here your vibrational code dot, your inner cursor, or inner sensation is feeling that pricking sense of pain at the core. That prick at the core which is creating a needle like structure is your cursor. And that is the cursor you gotta alchemize here. So that cursor inside is literally in pain. So you realize that all right my vibrational being my core is now tapped into the lineage of suffering, the lineage of I am a victim of narcissistic abuse. And now I am choosing to push this to the vibrational frequency of I am a thriver. Things have worked out for me. Miracles have started to activate for me. I am the one for whom things are aligning. I am the one for whom things are shifting. And I am choosing to push myself through that vortex. Wherever I can't believe, I am realizing that I am getting sucked into that vortex or lineage of I am not a believer, things cannot work out for me. Life is supposed to make me a sufferer vortex. So I am going to come out of the sufferer vortex and I'm going to again plug myself into things are working out in my favor. And every time I fluctuate and get into another vortex, I remember that this is a vortex and I need to get into the vortex of things are aligning in my favor. I am thriving. I am a survivor of narcissistic abuse. Life is amazing. Things are aligning in my favor. All areas of my life integrated in alignment is thriving in every part and particle of my consciousness. I am successful. I am love. I am thriving. I am in this vortex where things are working in my favor. My aura is expanding. My energy is taking up more space in this vortex and I'm aligning myself to expand more, open up more, just change the structure more because this is energy. Vibrations are energy. 
and I'm an energetic being. Emotions are energy in motion. I'm an energetic being. So my pain lineage or any lineage is connected to emotion, their energy. So all that energy is literally moving and is aware I've gone through a lot and is transmuting to give me the blessings now. And I am the one for whom it's working out in my favor. I am the one vibing in the consciousness where miracles are happening. I am blessed. Things are working in my favor. I am thriving. And now you are vibing as a vibrational being tapped into a conscious understanding of what you're thinking, feeling and sinking in and vibing in and flowing in the course of it, realizing that this is your vibe, recalling that you are a vibrational being, having a human experience and through every lineage, you always vibe through it some way or the other. So it was your vibration it's through across all time and space. Your vibration is becoming love. Your vibration is becoming miracles. Your vibration is becoming magic. And you're shifting to the vortex. You're shifting to the paradigm where everything is working in your favor. New earth frequency is getting activated for you. And you are getting attuned to the frequency where everything has aligned in your favor. And all lineages, all timelines across all times and space. You have shifted to that vortex where everything has sinked in and you have shifted to activate and have that core breakthrough where everything has so much to work in your favor and you're receiving that core shift and alignment and magical metamorphosis is getting activated in your favor. If you would like to become a quantum vibrational and frequency scientist or quantum manifestation code go ahead and check out quantum dynamic 8.org in the description box below you will find the link or you can contact me on whatsapp on 89106247871 plus 91 if you're not in india that's the indian calling code um, calling code yes so <laughs> plus nine one so in the description box below again you'll find the link or you can just reach out to me on facebook i'm a facebook girl i'm always available on uh i'm not always and i'm not in sessions i'm available on facebook so facebook instagram vibrations underscore and underscore alignment you can contact me reach out to me and that's where we can connect and I can help you to plug into any parallel reality in seconds. No matter what you've been through. The whole point is you realize the concept in your language based on where you are. And once you realize it, you can shift and realize and connect to your inner core essence and shift things for you and change the structure and shift your timeline and jump portals in seconds. And it doesn't have to take long. Life can just get shifted even after narcissistic abuse. No matter what situation you're in, like you're an entrepreneur and you are earning six figures a month, you want to earn seven figures a month. Let's do this. So you're plugged into the matrix of you earn six figures a month. So you are feeling that energy or vibing in that energy. So whenever you're vibing in that energy, it's just holding you and it's pulling you and it's sucking you in and it's like feeling true because you're resonating. This is resonance. So you need to just unplug out and be like, I earn seven figure a month. You can't believe, okay, you're in the I can't believe vortex and it has sucked you in and you're seeing through the lens of you can't believe. So each vortex you get into, you see through the POV of it. POV, this is the theme of my day. The vortex you have got sucked into. 
So you need to come out of that vortex and get into it's working in my favor. Life is amazing. I am seven. I own seven figure a month, and oh my god, life is amazing. And things are turning out in my favor, and I'm getting to live the life of my dreams. And there's celebrations happening in my own tears. Tuning in in the reverberation of ultimate solitude, and I am so happy and blissful to have seven figures month, and life is radiating in this blissful epiphany. So it's that simple. And let's just play with something more. A lot of you are twin flames. So you've not met your twin flame. You've met your first twin flame probably. It's not married. You want to marry your twin flame ultimately. So I'm not married. Marriage doesn't happen for me. Luck is so bad in marriage. Things don't work out. These are different, different vortexes that just keep pulling you. It feels good. It feels satisfying. Because your neurotransmitters are just playing with cortisol, dopamine, adrenaline, a bit of serotonin and oxytocin coming to play with this. And you're just moving to the endorphins, which is the transmutation frequency. And just playing with this to realize again and again, going through the same cycle, samsara, again and again, to reincarnate back on earth, to realize that... We've played this before, we're doing this all the time. What's a way out of it? What's a way out of living out of survival or trust and have faith? And to not have faith, the doubt, vortex is also like getting submerged into the zone of like, you can't, you're just doubting, you're just like feeling sunken in just just flowing into this different zone you just do not know what to do you are just cannot being able to move as one of my favorite teachers of manifestation 2020 says doubt the doubt once we were in a session one-on-one -on -one session i was in one-on-one -on -one session with him my coach and he said Doubt the doubt, and I was like, Oh my god, that's just such a tranquil thing to hear. So, so it's just whenever you doubt the doubt, you shift to the vortex of I have faith, I trust, I feel this epiphany. Life is just working out in my favor, and you're just getting out of that vortex of questioning things will work out for you or not. And you're unplugging from that vortex of, as Ralph Smart always says, fear is an illusion, like false evidence is appearing real. So even if you're shaky, baby, <laughs> you realize that you are the cat down the road. You have all the power, you have all the strength, and you can just gear up, buckle up, and get into the vortex of, Things are working in your favor and get out of that zone of that things are just not going to work out, that sunken place. And instead, instead of being overwhelmed by the tripping point, you get into the coercion point. You coerce with the zone or plug into the matrix of your preference where things are working out in your favor. You are the one for whom things are aligning. You are in the vortex where things have attuned in your favor in every reality. Like health, wealth, career, relationships, spirituality, culture, society, everywhere. Vibrations, intergalactic connections, everywhere. You are in a state of attunement where you're connecting even to extraterrestrial star seeds and beyond it all, you are now vibing in that coercion vortex and 
thriving in the frequency of love and flowing in that core essence of it and vibing in that ease and you vibe in this ease and sense this love at the core it just gets percolated through every layer of your vibration and each lineage is going to reflect it it's going to restructure itself for you things are just going to magically turn around it happens in my reality forever i've been doing this forever it has been working out forever so i bet it will work out in your reality as well it's simple just get into the core of your essence in your heart sense the sensations beneath the sensation flow with that energy in motion and play in that vibration dance as a vibrational being flow and know that you've always been a vibrational being through every experience every time you felt hurt your vibrations were being tilted every time you have felt joy your vibrations were being tilted so every time you get into a sunken place remember that everything is a vibration like in my course a uh, vibration frequency scientist has actually explained this it's long course it's a lot of details but each frequency is like a parallel reality so each emotion every thought is parallel reality so if you're vibing from the frequency of things are not going to work out in my life life is supposed to be bad i am supposed to suffer all my life and i came here to suffer life is all going to be about suffering like suffering is my dharma karma and i'm so duty bound to suffer you are tapping into that vortex where you're feeling thinking vibing and expecting more of it and feeling a satisfaction towards it all your cultural social and all the other programmings are playing out that is why that entanglement or that plug in vortex that vacuum that magnet of attraction is so strong to make you feel like this is so true you feel it's true because of your cultural beliefs social beliefs people you've seen people who are telling you things that no choose it just in the wrong marriage get beaten so you're going to domestic violence <laughs> this kind of things happen in society still like it's terrible and women are expected like adjust my mom was to adjust so what her husband is beating you up i mean things are like that in today's society even now and very few people think also that they need to adjust or families are telling adjust or the narcissist is telling you it's not a big deal it's all in your head all of those gaslighting they're being able to gaslight you also because you're feeling shrunken inside that's the vibration mm, portal so you're shrunken inside right so you're getting scared you're shaky 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 you shaky because there are uh, informations you're having like yeah this person is also going to tell oh your marriage didn't work out i have always been told i should adjust this person has told me i should adjust i might be the wrong person i need to adjust i need to be a better person i cannot be just i'm just getting tilted by westernization and all of that and just thinking so new age so these kind of plugged in beliefs our beliefs and speculations or way of seeing things or way of anticipating things way of understanding things from a lens of programming of plugging into the matrix where you are conditioned by the culture society and all of that in a certain way so when we are talking about unplugging from the matrix we are literally having to go through all those stories like 
how is your culture holding you back or how is society holding you back whether you're working on your health wealth relationship any aspect the belief system everything plays a strong role here like money cannot grow on trees and um, you cannot earn in usd being in india or there's a lot of difference in your currency and that country's currency you cannot live that dream because you're from so and so country you don't have the right to do that mm. all these kind of belief systems are actually again cultural programming running through many people so as it's running through many people it is becoming the collective consciousness a group of people having that thought collective so that makes collective right so a lot of people having that thought that is coming through you so that programming is pre-programmed so whenever you are tuning into a particular frequency things are not going to work out money is not coming poverty consciousness anything of that sort there are other kind of thoughts or sensations and frequencies attuned to this and other people who have had thoughts programs frequencies connected to that even those thoughts start to get channeled through you because you're a consciousness you're not just your mind body and soul you're not just your mental lineage physiological lineage but you are also your vibrational lineage you're also a soul so through your consciousness through the energy like computer literally you are downloading all of these information and i kid you not the computer design the human machine learning design to everything is created based on the human design and how human functions how human think how human process so even the car gear movement structure is according to how the vibrational inner movement structure is happening energetically when we are integrating so it's all connected and it's from that one source deep information that we've channeled in different way but that core vibration is the key so whether you want your ex back whether you want to marry your sp whether you want money whether you want to be more successful you want to be famous you want to be viral on the internet you want to change the trajectory of your life after narcissistic abuse you want to improve your health you want to live a long life no matter what it's all integrated and it's all connected it's all one in the vibration realm when you are a sensational energetic being your energy at the core so by tapping into the core essence of energy you can connect to all of life at once and through that sensation all of life comes to you with ease grace and joy another favorite quote i have from access consciousness and all these tools like access consciousness clearing or eft um, or somatic healing or just tapping quantum integration reiki any sort of tool that you are doing will help you ultimately to just unplug more change your belief system and connect more to your energy body and feel that vibe by unplugging from the different matrix is like this video i'm sure is helping you if this is helping you share it with more people let this information reach more people and change more lives and it deserves to more people deserve to know this truth and change their life and connect to this beautiful dimension of their life so you are a vibrational being and more you study about the vibrations more you connect to your vibrational structure it is realizing that through the vibrational structure through the vibrational standpoint we are connected in every vortex and by just changing a vibration by just feeling good as everyone says focus on the feeling good and the momentum of feeling good 
So when you're vibrationally just aligning to that vortex of you feel good, things are just sinking in your favor, just getting into the plugging into the vortex of things are working in, you're doubting the doubt and trusting that things are working in your favor. You're just sinking into that vortex of things are worked out. Life is amazing. I'm so happy. Things just keep happening in magical ways. Life is amazing. Things just keep unfolding in beautiful ways. I just love how life unfolds. I love how life is just flowing. And I just continue to plug into the vortex of things that are working out. Every time you get stressed or worried, remember like, oh, I'm in the stress vortex. Time to unplug. So a stress vortex is going to get you all the stressful thoughts, worries and that frequency will open up and it will connect you to the collective that are feeling there, vibing there. So you will also connect to them on the internet because your AI and consciousness are synced. That's why AI is so powerful because it's kind of aligning and connecting to the flow of consciousness and trying to connect to that structure and just configuring because the consciousness is going mainstream so the quantum computing will have a lot and everything to do with consciousness the quantum trial the quantum telepathy quantum teleportation everything is all about attuning to this vibrational frequency real it's all from this vibrational core code of consciousness and once we are tapped into this frequency of being this your original being having a human experience is from this core energy of being this vibration is from this core energy of realizing your vibrational being you're just flowing and it is your vibrations that you are focusing on changing when you are trying to manifest never got that there's nothing else to change for the self if you're looking at a mirror and trying to change what you're seeing into it and trying to break that mirror, it's more like that if you're trying to change what's on the outside. But what you have to change is what's on the inside. Everyone is you pushed out. So never is one of the greatest teachers of consciousness we've had to now. Oh my God. So consciousness is everything he says, right? Everything is consciousness. Like, I this is love never teachings. So... The consciousness is like fluid flowing everywhere and to tap into the consciousness you have to realize that you're a consciousness, a vibrational dot as feel good says, you're a dot. So this, the vibrational dot, you become that dot, you realize your dotted existence, you realize your dotted existence. And you realize that just a dot, a speck of dust. So feel that dot and know that the movement of the dot, the dance of the dot is the highest form of understanding of the flow of God. And it is from this flow, creativity flows. It is from this inspiration, the space of knowingness, life is happening, unfolding and sinking and widening in this beautiful, enriching journey of oneness with all. It is in this flow, it is in this dot, it is in this sensation. We are connected to all and we are but love, vibing in oneness. And this is just a portal this dot is plugging into. But this is the truth, the portal of ultimate. But there is no plugging in, but just the flow of it and the language of its synergy naturally is love. And it is the language of this flow, of this movement that I give through words because I love to. And I sing them, I play with them, and it is in this beautiful, radiating way 
and let the energy flow through them and there is light, love, flame in this joy inside and out. And that is beautiful part of vibing and plugging in to the frequency of your vibration lineage from where you can unplug from any matrix and plug into any matrix and vibe from there and breathing and being that frequency and attract more of that and attune in the frequency breakthroughs. It is this cool cellular shifts, vibrational shifts that is unifying us to that frequency at core core breakthrough shifts and miracles are happening and we are but vibing in the frequency of core breakthrough coursing through every vortex inside and out thank you love and light to you if you love this channel if you love these contents do like share and subscribe and keep watching thank you